So you're saying abolish all countries, one world I'm not government, saying that. one world I'm government? I'm not saying that. I said we're putting out the Venus Project as a possible alternative. If the world people decide to join, we will share resources. Of some nations won't. They won't decide to join. So they don't get the benefit of this total global system. Okay, well, Sue in Cornwall says, when will Venus be built? That depends on how much work you do, and if you like the Venus Project, how much work you do, and what people do. Roxanne and I have no power at all. We merely submit a possible alternative. It's up to people to say, I don't think it'll work, and it won't work then. Jack, if people I mean, identify with us, then go to our website, thevenusproject.com, the Zeitgeist Movement, the UK Project, where we're gathering all of the scientists and technologists who want to help, all the CAD and animation people. There's, there's a website called www.thezeitgeistmovementuk.com. That's one of yes. the main ones, isn't it? And the zeitgeistmovement.com and the venusproject.com. The, the Zeitgeist Movement is the activist arm of the Venus Project. Jack, you're 93. I hope you don't mind me saying that, since I said it in the intro, and I know you don't mind saying it. Um, do you think you'll see this in your lifetime? I don't think about that at all. I do the best I can to try to make it possible. If people don't recognize it, I've done all I know how to do. I have no... Uh, I'm not psychic. I just deal with probability. The probability is that we'll kill each other, that we will not achieve that, because the, the, the rate of damage is increasing. We're polluting the oceans, fish are dying, whales are dying, the atmosphere is being poisoned, the water table is raising, rising up, and the rate of damage is so fast that we don't have enough time to wait for people to become smart. We want to make motion pictures to help people understand not what Fresco likes, but what the conditions are today. It isn't me that's saying I want to control people. I don't. No. But I've taken a lot of time out. You know, I'm 93 years old. And all I do is work on problem solving, not pointing out this guy's a crook and that system isn't working. What do you do about it? That's all the Venus Project is about. Making airplanes safer, cars safer, education for everyone, whether you got money or not, medical care from birth to death, doctors that are brought up, to feel good because they see the end of poverty, hunger, slums, not a doctor that works for money. Uh, I don't trust those guys. I've got to say, a lot of texts we're getting in are very positive about you. I mean, a lot of people are inspired by it's you. It's always been positive. Uh, since the Zeitgeist Movement... a lot of people movement, are thanking you. Sorry. Yes, yeah, excuse me. Sorry. Since the Zeitgeist addendum introduced this direction to the world, we have a lot of people out there who are working towards it in every way that they can. Okay. During the transition, from the old monetary system to the resource-based economy, which you didn't ask me how the new economy works. We'll get to that. During the transition, there will be trouble, crime, murder, everything you have today. If we get to the point of automation as we want it, I then believe that when people have access to the necessities of life, they do not steal. If you made a public library where anyone can get a book, that's wonderful. But they fought the women that marched for that. They threw rotten eggs at them. Let me finish. They threw rotten eggs at them. All the trouble you have for every bit of change, of social change, there was always a minority beat up, put in jail, you know, for the difference. So I'm saying this. If you do that, you hold back the future. You should not be afraid of ideas. Listen to all kinds of ideas and reject those that you feel won't work or question it. But so, uh, Carol says, 93 and sharp as a button, you're an inspiration. And here's one, I don't know who this is from. It says, a worthy vision, a genuine real start in the right direction. How do we survive the transition period? I'm sorry about that, but the transition period will be painful. And if we get enough support, it'll be easier. But it's not an easy task moving from a monetary system to a resource-based economy. There's going to be trouble. I'm sorry. I have no control over that.
Okay. We, as we said, we would like to do a major motion picture to introduce people in an entertaining way what the future could be like. And at the end, we'd like to have people walk out and say, why don't we build this today? We'd like to give them something to advocate that's possible and that's positive for the future of, for everyone. Sense. And then we'd like to build a first city, a planning center, where people can come and look at it and see how it works. And then people from different parts of the world could go and build one in their, their country. So how, because you didn't really answer the question before, how do people get on board? How do they get on board? Oh, they write us, they send us letters and say, what do you want us to do to help us? And what do you tell them? We tell them to become familiar with the Venus Project, look at our website, and then hold meetings at your churches, or clubhouse, wherever you belong. The Venus Project is not about architecture. It's about a way of thinking. And if people learn this way, we're more apt to have a greatly improved world. It's not perfect. It's just a hell of a lot better than what we've got.